Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. All right, first store today, and we're gonna go check out these bags real quick. And we got ourselves a nice little surprise. We got a Vulcan chain here for $1.99. It's got some kind of dart stuck in it. But yeah, buck ninety nine, not too bad of a deal. If you're into Vulcan stuff, you know, eh, that's pretty good. Then over here, we got some old knockoff darts for $4.99 still in their package. Uh, yeah, nothing I need. Gonna leave that behind. Now we're gonna go check out this Nerf department, and we got ourselves a Rapid 20, $4.99. Pretty good. And next to that, we got a Flip Fury, $3.99. Not too bad, not too bad. Ooh, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Looks kind of... Oh, nah, it's not. You know, for a second there, I got pretty excited and thought somebody uh, donated a Worker Swift already, but no, nope, it was just some type of laser tag thing. Yeah, that would have been cool if somebody had a Swift in here, you know? All right, what do we got here? We got some type of broken Busby-looking thing. We got some more stuff uh, that I'm not too sure about. More laser tag things. Yeah, not not too much, not too much. Let's see, uh, make our way over here. It looks like we got a couple of things. Oh, okay. We got a Night Finder, one of the original ones with the In-Strike Yellow Edition. And then we got the Nintendo Wii Blaster right here. It's got all of its parts. That's cool. And then we got a Walking Dead Revolver. I've never seen this. I don't know too much about it, but yeah. I mean, if you're into that type of show or whatnot, you know, that's kind of cool, I guess. But not for me, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Oh, we got another Night Finder over here. We got an orange one. It's not too common of a color that you see. Buck 99. That's cool. Not really in the market for Night Finders right now. Ooh, okay, something I haven't seen in a while. We got the uh, Nerf Dog, and it's a Sonic Ice Edition. That one's cool. You can actually use that to launch socks like a grenade launcher, which is nice. And behind that, we had a Zombie Strike Long Shot, $5.99. Pretty good shape. It's missing the scope like they typically are, but yeah, nothing I really needed at this store, so I went ahead and put that back. But on my way out, I saw this crossbow-looking thing. Uh, I don't really know the name of it. If you do, leave it in the comments for me didn't even have a price on it so if i wanted it i couldn't get it but yeah put that back and we went on to the second store all right second store inside of here and oh we got a nice cart they haven't even put this stuff out yet let's check it out get a little sneak peek we got a, another walking dead blaster it's like a bolt action rifle that's cool 299 we got a yellow big bad bow in here it was $2.99. If it would have had some arrows, I would have grabbed it, but I don't really need another one of those, so I just left that behind. This thing fell out. Let's put that back real quick. Other than that, it wasn't looking like too much. All right, now we're in the nerf department. Let's see, we got a couple of pistols. We got the typical strong arm, $2.99, some disruptors. Ooh, we got one of these little dart tag pistols. And we got a barricade. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see, $3.99, not too bad. Typical price, looks like. Uh, $2.99 for a disruptor, not too bad. Nothing I need, you know, let's move on. And over here, something I haven't seen before, we got a Scout MK2. It's a little four round pistol. And let's see, 349, ooh. Man, I would, if I was somebody else, I'd be just getting that disruptor over there, much cheaper, holds more, but. And we got a Busby mag just chilling over here. Don't know what that goes to, so. Let's keep on keeping on what we got down here. Ooh, we got another bow. This one's 399, it's different from the one we saw at the other store. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. And another bow. Geez, just a bow kind of day, I guess. We got a, a Rebel bow, $4.99. It's got some kind of like passcode thing. I don't really know how this thing works. It looks like it's a drawstring as well. Not really spring powered or anything, so pretty interesting. Mm, still nothing I really want. And over here, we got one of these old school blasters that uh, came with like a target game interesting but yeah looks like we're going off empty-handed onto the thrift center let's check out what they got inside of here all right bunch of stuff let's see oh okay there we go we got a nerf thing over here what we got we got a mega thunderhawk it's missing its clip but it is let's see looking like about five bucks 490 something you know the, it's a pretty cool blaster you can use it for like an integration and chop it up it, it's really cool but yeah, I'm just not in the market for that right now, so I'm going to leave that behind as well. Then I was making my way on to the exit, and I saw this sweet backpack, and I've been needing a backpack for, you know, carrying magazines and whatnot to games, and it's pretty cool. It's a Evolution Pokemon bag. It was, let's see, $4.98, and that color happened to be 75% off, so I went home with this thing for less than 2 bucks. 
So yeah, really happy about that. Gonna grab it and we're gonna head on to the next store. All right, here we are at the next store and now we're talking. We got ourselves some orange Alpha Troopers here. $3.99. Let's see, it's got a six round magazine. Let's check the other side of it. Ooh, this is in really good shape. Still has the warning stickers on it. And then we got another one that's decked out with a bunch of accessories and an 18 round stampede bag. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh, same price, $3.99, not too bad. Let's see, uh, every time I found this one, it's funny, uh, you can check the card above. I found one modded one time with an orange mod works kit, but yeah, $3.99. I'm gonna consider getting these definitely, especially with that magazine, the 18 round one. So I'm gonna hold on to this and keep looking around. Let's see what else we got. There's an old recon down there. Got another rebel style bow today. Checking over here. Ooh, okay, we got a nitron chilling in the floor. See how much that one was. $3.99? Something like that. But other than that, yeah, just the Alpha Trooper. Alright, we're gonna hit this next store. And it's the last one of the day. And we got a couple of disruptors starting out. $2.99. Seems to be the typical price. Ooh, and somebody modded this one up. They got a nice uh pull string for it. So that's that's uh something I've never seen before. $2.99 as well. Unless that's trying to be like a, a bandolier sling type of thing, but I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Let's see. Mm, not looking like too much else on these shelves. Let's go ahead and hit the next aisle. Oh, okay. A lot of Walking Dead stuff today. This one is the same blaster that I found in the Goodwill Outlet episode. $4.99. It's a uh, top prime retaliator style blaster. I'm going to go ahead and leave that behind though. And over here, we got a Tommy 20, I believe. Let's see. Looks like Tommy 20 to me. And $3.99. Okay. Yeah. Not the most exciting trip today, but... Ooh, okay. We got a broken dart rover. <laughs> this is where it belongs, I guess, you know? This thing is one of the worst things they've ever made. $3.99. And it's uh, missing half of its handle, so... That's going back on the shelf for sure. Let's see if we can find anything cool. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Looks like some type of dart zone blaster that takes a drum. I am not familiar. It, it seems to be flywheel, definitely, but yeah, $2.99. If anybody knows what that is, leave me a comment down below and tell me what that thing is for sure. All right, we got a little uh, pistol over here that's primed. Let's go ahead and fix that. What we got under there? Ooh, okay, what is this? Here's another thing I don't really know the name for, so leave me a comment if you know what it is, but it's some type of uh, Vulcan style blaster, $7.99. I'm going to go ahead and say no on this as well, but I wanted to turn it on, test it out, just to see if it did anything. But I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones where, like, the, the front of the minigun rotates, which is kind of cool, but eight bucks, no thank you. All right, on to the big nerf rack. Let's see what we got going on in here. Is this what I think it is? Oh, nope, I thought it was a Fortnite blaster for a second. Let's go ahead and put that back. Up here we have a Mega Magnus. These things are fun. Let's check it out. $2.99. Not too bad of a deal. Not too bad. Let's see what else we got up here. Okay, I bet you I've seen the whole Walking Dead line today. <laughs> How much is this thing? Uh, ooh, faded out. Okay, well, I'm not going to get it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Then over here, we got another Zombie Strike long shot, just like the first store, but this one's 8 bucks compared to the 6 we saw at the first one. going to leave that behind as well, just like I did the other store. Then we got a Lumatron, $2.99. Uh, I forgot the name of this guy. If you know it, leave it in the comments for me. What else we got going on? We got an old AirTech blaster. That's pretty cool. The 3000 line, $2.99. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put that back though. Nothing I really need. Ooh, and here's something I've never seen before. We got the Air Warriors Destiny, $5.99. Pretty good deal. If it had its clip, I would have definitely grabbed this, but the only thing I know about it, I've seen the Make Test Battle video where they mod it to have like a compressed air on it and it's just ridiculous but yeah i'm gonna leave that behind what else we got over here got some ninja turtle stuff there was a boom co blaster down there it looks like another strong arm or disruptor chilling we got a recon mark ii so it was a 399 not too bad of a deal Let's see what else we got under here we got an adventure force blaster we got uh some type of flip fury but we got a night finder other than that, that'll do it for this trip. So after it's all said and done, all I went home with was that Pokemon backpack. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you want to check out some more thrifting adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see my gameplay, go for that one. Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.